So The Traitors is back on the BBC, which means I get to talk about one of my favourite social deduction games. For those of you who know me, don't worry, I'm not going to talk about Blood and the Clock Tower again, although, I mean, I mean, look at it. Werewolves and Miller's Hollow, often just Werewolf, is the hidden rules game in which most people are villagers trying to find the hidden werewolf players before those werewolves kill everyone. It's based on a Russian parlor game called Mafia, which was designed by psychology student Dmitry Davidov in 1986. And at Moscow State University, a young psychology student, Dmitry Davidov, was trying to cram two years of college into one while teaching high school students interested in his subject. It was a timetable that demanded total efficiency, so Davidov needed to find a way to make the research that he was doing for his term papers palatable to a young audience. The result wasn't yet werewolf, it was a game called Mafia. So what started as a psychology experiment quickly became a fun social activity which spread through Moscow and out into the world where, like all parlor games, people took it and modified it but left the core of the game intact. So Russian students took it abroad and they taught it to people they met. Those people in turn took it and passed it on again. There were improv theatre groups which grew up just around the game. Uh, it made its way to China where special nightclubs appeared, apparently just so people could play Mafia. These aren't amiable after-dinner diversions, but commercialised mafia dens with electronic scoreboards, pretty young hostesses and techno music blaring out to cover up any movements during the night phase of the game. And at some point it made its way to New Jersey, where in 1997 an interactive fiction writer called Andrew Plotkin asked, what if this game were not mafia but werewolves? And it turns out that he was indeed right. Werewolves are a much more appropriate cultural touchstone for a game which involves evil players hiding in plain sight and killing other people during a night phase. Now this being 1997, Plotkin also introduced Werewolf to the nascent internet, where it gained even more popularity. And as a result, it became, and it indeed remains really popular today among tech crowds. So tech crowds in a really weird way. Hmm. Today there are a lot of commercial editions of Werewolf, each with their own variations. Almost all of those variations contain additional characters which change the game subtly or sometimes quite significantly. The version you're most likely to play is Werewolves and Miller's Hollow, which is designed by Philippe de Palier and Hervé Marley. Werewolves and Miller's Hollow has its own subtle take on the rules, but its main additions are a variety of extra characters. So that's characters like a seer who every round gets to find out one of the player's true identity, a hunter who, when he's executed, can take another player out with them, and there's also a witch who can use two potions to either save a werewolf victim or kill another player of their choice. These characters are all also modular, so you can swap them in and out as you please. So if you've been watching The Traitors, and this all sounds familiar, it's because The Traitors is just Werewolf, albeit a high production, high concept version. Now the good news about Werewolf is that the Werewolves of Miller's Hollow Edition will cost you only around £10, and unlike The Traitors, it's not mean-spirited. And then, yeah, at these round tables you don't really contribute, um, and I just think it's a bit suspicious. You finished? So, sorry, no, I'm you finished. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just asking it if she's finished. I know, I know, but this no, is my not, not, not. It doesn't require you to spend a fortnight in a Scottish castle to play it, unless you want to, and you don't have to listen to dirge versions of all your favourite pop songs. Come as you are, as you are, as I want you. Thanks for watching this short video. This will be the first, hopefully, of a series I'm planning to do monthly, very hopefully, uh, in which I'll do a little sort of uh, recap of one of my favorite board games. This one's gonna go on YouTube, uh, but the others will be on my Patreon. So please, if you're interested in finding out more about uh, some of my favorite games, getting some recommendations and ideas, uh, please do check that out. Thank you very much.